topic of let go and lead, there is a different type of ceiling that we're hearing a lot about, and that's from my uh -huh. generation, Generation Xers, and at Bridgeworks we call it the gray ceiling. And what's happening is that you're obviously all about let go and lead, and that means dynamic career paths. Mm -hmm. So you talk to Generation Xers, and what will they do? They'll look at most organizations' definition of a career path, and they'll pull it out, and there'll be an org chart. And it's got boxes, and they get smaller as you get to the top. Well, that model worked really well for 80 million boomers who are competing to get those positions, who are very caught up in title, for good mm -hmm. reasons, because where you are in the org chart, as I said, you're competing, makes sense. So what's happening, though, is extras pull up that org chart, and they see this sea of boomers are rung above them that aren't going anywhere, who are feeling yeah. quite good, who mm -hmm. are sticking around in the workplace longer, who have no intentions of yeah. leaving, for sure, and talking about leaving. Mm -hmm. And they're like, the only model for us around here is up. And so they're bumping up against this gray ceiling saying, look, there's nowhere for me to go. There's all these people not going anywhere. I'm out of here. Well, what other model might they like? The I model mean, that we talk about. Does it have to be up or it can be across? Or? So the model that Bridgeworks, you know, that we've coined is what we call Rubik's Cubicle. Mm -hmm. And they stop thinking of a career path as only a climb up the ladder with fancier titles and a bump in pay. Because Exercise Iron is concerned about title mm -hmm. or even position. They're really excited about doing work that shows that they're learning and they're growing. So... For example, lateral moves. If I were to say to a baby boomer, what was the idea of a lateral move to you? It was the kiss of death. I'm being mm -hmm. pushed aside for everyone to pass me up the ladder. But if you say that to Gen Xer, they're like, well, that sounds pretty cool. I was doing this. Yeah. Now I'm going to put over here. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to have all new skills and you know, tools in my kit so that if something bad happens, well, I'm going to be all the more employable. Mm -hmm. So what happens for the model of Rubik's Cubicle is if you take out title and position and make it about exciting projects, Suddenly you can keep that person looking at this gray ceiling, feels that they're not going anywhere. Keep them in that job and say, you know what? We've got this new project we're rolling out we'd love for you to spearhead. Or we've got this new community outreach initiative we'd love for you to spearhead. Or, you know, we'd love for you to sit in on these meetings and start learning a little bit about this. Or what about going back to school? Those are all going to feel like we're moving up a ladder where you don't have to deal as much about title and position. Mm -hmm.